Okay, let's look at how to create pipelines using the Harness YAML Builder. So I'll start off with a new pipeline here. I'll call it YAML Demo. Um, and in here you can see in the Pipeline Studio, you can see there's Visual and YAML tabs. So Visual you're probably familiar with from adding stages and settings there, but YAML, you can do the same thing. So here's the basics for a pipeline. If you start, first you have to edit the pipeline. All right. And then you hit return and then it's control space. And you see the major sections of the pipeline um, that you need to add. I'm just gonna work on stages here to show you how to quickly add a CD stage. The remaining settings here are very simple to walk through as well, but I'm just gonna focus on stages to teach you how to use the structure of the YAML and how to use the editor. So let's click on stages. And we'll do control space again, and we'll pick a stage. And we need a unique identifier for the stage, so I'll just call it uh, YAML stage. And then for name, we can just use an input runtime variable here. Oops. And we can use this for a lot of things. Um, looks like this one's actually upset about it, so let's say, oh, I, I can't for this guy, I can't. I can use it for other things, so I'll just call it YAML stage. There we go. And then type again, control space. And we're going to do a deployment stage. There's approval, CI, feature flag, but we're just going to do deployment for now. Okay, and then control space again, and you can see the different settings of the stage. Failure strategies, when is used for conditional execution settings. Um, of course, variables for the stage and tags and so on. But we're going to focus on spec because that's where we add the uh, steps for the stage and the service and the infrastructure. And you'll use spec a lot wherever you have to provide a lot of details on a setting. Okay, so now it automatically adds the execution, infrastructure, and service settings. And these correspond directly to the UI where you set up the same uh, ma three major categories in um, the stage. So we'll start off in execution and then quickly go through the rest. So now we have steps. We'll do control space and we'll add a step. Identifier has to be unique. I'm going to add an SSH step. So I'll call it uh, new SSH. Uh, and a name, I'm just going to put an input in there. Type. Control space, and you'll see all the available steps for uh, YAML here for a CD stage. And I'm going to use a shell script step. So I'll hit enter, control space, and then you'll see the settings available within that, um, uh, uh, that step. So I'll add the spec, control space, and these are the different settings in shell script step here. So I'm going to add um, just a couple here. One of the neat things about, let me click one of them first here. One of the neat things is wherever you see this under, uh, underlining, it will show you what you're missing. Basically, what are the mandatory settings that I need to miss or if something's wrong? Like for example, this one, it's saying I can't enter that in there. So I'll call it new SSH. There we go. So down in shell is one. Hit space and it'll show me the options. That's bash. And I'll do control space and see the other ones that are required. And if I go over here, it'll say, it looks like source and on delegate are, are required. So I'll go down to source. And there's the type. It's going to be an inline. Hit enter. Control space back for that. Colon. And then it's going to be a script. And I'm just going to say echo. Um, hello, YAML. All right. um, and it still says we need a few more. We need the on delegate one, at least one more. So we can put that anywhere. I'm going to put it, I'll put it right at the bottom here. So I've got to navigate back to where it is. Control space on delegate and say false. All right, now we can. You can see there's no lines under anything, and so uh, we don't have to add anything else. We can go down to infrastructure, hit control space, and see the uh, just like in the UI, we're going to add an element, uh, environment, and an infrastructure definition. Um, these are other settings. If you're uh, uh, propagating an environment and inheriting it, you can use these. But we're just going to do an environment infrastructure definition because it's our first stage. All right, again, I'll call it uh, new environment. I'll give it a name, new environment, and then the type down here. That's going to be pre-production. And if I go over infrastructure, it says, oh, you still, you still need something else because we haven't provided an infrastructure definition yet. So let's go back to that right here, add the infrastructure definition. Type is a Kubernetes direct, so that's a using the uh, Kubernetes cluster, the platform agnostic Kubernetes cluster connector that can connect to a cluster anywhere. And so we have the spec for this as well. 
and we're going to add these. This is the connector reference. The important thing here is that currently in the YAML builder, you can't add connectors inline like you can in the UI. In the UI, wherever you need to add a connector, you can just say new connector and create the connector right there. In the YAML, the connector has to be referenced. So uh, if you don't already have the connector, you can just use an input, and I'll just a runtime input, and then configure it later. For now, I'll just use that for everything here. So input, namespace input, and release name input. Okay, no underlining, so we're all good here. Let's go down to service config. I'm gonna add a service and service definition. Again, a unique uh, service name. I'll call it new service. I don't think I'm using that elsewhere, but we'll find out when we go to save it. And name, we'll call it the new, the same thing. Okay, and description and tags I don't need, but it's saying I do need something else. That's right, I'm gonna need actually, not that. I'm gonna need, let me go down here. All right, there we go, the service definition. And we have a type as well, and it's gonna be a Kubernetes service. And then we're gonna have to specify a spec because we have to point to our Kubernetes manifest. So I'm gonna do manifests here. And then I'm gonna specify manifest. It's gonna be a unique identifier. I'm gonna say just YAML example. And then in type here, I'll do Kubernetes manifest. And then a spec for that colon, and then I'm going to use the store, and that's going to be the location, the GitHub repository, in this case, the repo, where my manifest files are. So I'm going to pick a GitHub connector, and then I'm going to provide the spec for that. Okay, and these, there's a number of settings here, but only a few are required. So if I add branch here, I can do an input there. I can do a connector ref will be an input. Um, paths will be an input and it's saying I still need a git fetch type so I'll do that guy git fetch type oh wait now that is actually you can specify right here branch which is what I'm using all right nothing is being underlined so it should all be good let's try saving it and see if I have any uh, identifiers that are being used elsewhere because it'll throw an error if I do I don't so everything is created perfectly in YAML. We can go over to the visual editor and see. There's our stage. There's the infrastructure. You can see I'm using inputs for all these settings, but they're all there. Um, back in the services I showed you, there's the YAML example, and there's an input for that. Execution. There's our shell script step. There's the hello YAML, and there's the settings for it with bash selected here. Um, and that's really simply how you could do one very quickly, and then you can go and add more settings, more advanced settings, and so on, and change it. Um, it's not, doesn't take much to pick up all the uh, control space kind of commands, and it also has, if I go back to the YAML editor, um, let me edit here, it also has, if you hit uh, F1, you can get the command palette that allows quite a few functions, and then you can also do uh, control F and get a find replace if you need to find replace a lot of settings or any settings in it. And that's it.